Hey, I'm Jonathan Sewell Sales at Mitchell Lincoln on the Boulevard and Enterprise. And over my right shoulder is one of the hottest crossovers of 2021, a 21 model Ford Bronco Sport. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna go outside, we're gonna go all the way around and break down just why this is so special. So let's jump in. More, 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 more garbage. The Bronco line is very hot right now, and this was the first to the party about a year ago. Uh, when it uh, Ford brought back this this Bronco and it's now become its own brand as you have the Bronco Sport and the uh, full-size Bronco which they are also uh, taunting or tempting uh, more vehicles along this uh, line of Bronco and as we go around notice that there's only one Ford logo on the entire vehicle but everywhere you see the bronco you see the bronco spelled out you see the uh, bronco on the back of the key fob so inside it's all bronco uh, no ford logo except for one spot on the back lift gate and we'll point that out when we get there so this is the bronco brand and this 21 Bronco Sport is the Big Ben package, so it's not your entry-level base. It is the upgrade. Competitors for this uh, compact crossover rugged segment include the Jeep Trailhawk. Also, you could throw in there the Subaru Crosstrek. The upcoming, for those of you uh, that watch my Mazda videos on the channel, this could be or is a competitor for the new CX-50. And this rugged compact 4x4 all 4x4 all broncos are four four wheel drive or 4x4 is uh, right in that class for size and for a uh, competitive set so let's get started up front here as we mentioned this big bronco bold lettering up front on the entry level it's all blacked out so we do have it white letter there more of a heritage or a throwback style and your beautiful uh, projector beam with LED strips on these headlights and uh, big lens there for better visibility. Also have your fog lights down at the bottom. And you can see, as we look from the side here, a pretty decent approach angle, uh, other than those front uh, spoilers there or flaps there, uh, but a pretty good approach angle when you need to go off-road. Got it on a little bit of a, a decline coming down this way. Love the body lines on the hood. We'll take a look underneath the hood in just a minute, but this gives it that rugged look. And you notice all the plastic on the lower bumper all the way around, plastic on the rocker panels. That's intentional because as you're going off-road, you don't want to uh, you know, get rocks or other things on the paint, so let it uh, hit that plastic. These are upgraded wheels on this Big Ben package. So you have these 17-inch wheels and... Um, a, a dark uh, painted aluminum there again with the bronco logo in the center and on the big bend is more of a all-season tire of this continental so you have some more uh, all-terrain uh, options available as you move up the line again just this rugged styling here with this nice little uh, trim piece here on the front fender you have these plastic um, caps here on the mirrors which again are designed to be popped and uh, don't want to scratch those so easily. This one does have your blind spot monitoring. Also has uh, touch, it, touch uh, open here and close as your intelligent uh, keyless entry. And you can see as a staple with Ford and Lincoln, you have your keypad or key code there. Now, as we look at this profile, notice that uh, this is kind of reminiscent of the old Nissan Xterra. But uh, as you know, the boxy look here, but as we go around the top, you actually see it coming up some for that rear passenger headroom. So there's a lot of headroom up front and in the back because of how that roof uh, accommodates that. And while we're talking about the roof, let's look at these roof rails right here. These are not your typical old roof rails. These things are heavy duty and they're designed to you know, accommodate not just the 
uh, different sizing here of the roof with this gap, but they're actually designed to uh, carry or support a uh, roof mounted um, tent. So if you wanna do some outdoor camping, you can put that up top and sleep on top and uh, they will support it above the uh, roof there so you don't have any damage. And this specific vehicle here has a uh, moonroof as part of the Big Ben package. So some other upgrades as we point out as we move around. Again, love these uh, trim pieces here. And this one being all black, you really don't get to see all the styling there uh, from the, uh, the roof and the colors. Uh, but uh, this one is the black exterior. Uh, this would be all black on other vehicles as well. So uh, a good little uh, styling cue. Of course, this one's kind of could be blacked out if you got the right tint, etc. One thing about the uh, Bronco Sport, which is pretty neat, is you do have this uh, pop-up glass, which is not available on most crossovers in this size. And it's a simple uh, left or right here. The left pops the glass and the right would pop the door. So you can open that up and have, uh, whether it's animals back here to get a little extra vent or just load something up that sticks out, you can still pop that glass. Then of course, the only thing that's missing is not a power lift gate there, but you can uh, open that or, or disengage the uh, lock there with a double push of the key fob. So as you open that up, look how wide an opening this is for entry here. That raised rear roof really gets uh, some extra space, extra cargo. This one has your all weather mats in it, but also standard is this rubberized floor. So really uh, easy to keep clean. Also the seat backs are that way as well. And you can see the top tethers for the latch system. Um, also, these are very functional. Just have these little hooks here. These are like uh, grocery bag holders on steroids. So any type of other uh, materials, cargo, et cetera, that you need to strap down, just push them in there. They lock in place. Also have a 12 volt plug back here. Nice lighting and this LED display. Uh, also, this we'll talk about in just a minute, but nice hooks everywhere to uh, latch. And this bottom platform here actually can slide up and engage into that lower to give a little bit more uh, storage underneath the uh, tire if you upgrade that spare tire, etc. Now this button right here is independent of the car being running, but you just engage that and you have these LED lights right here. So again, if you're gonna be doing some camping or some outdoors, I know we're in the daytime, but those would shine down and project a lot of light here from the strength of those LEDs. And they're also very functional because you can tilt them how you need them. So, and you can let these run while you have this lift gate open. And you can even disable the interior lights here uh, with exception of this one. So you don't, you know, drain excess battery uh, juice there. Now this one, of course, uh, with that package, you see the rear sensors down here to help uh, with any type of obstructions as you're in reverse. And this does have a tow capacity of uh, 2000 pounds. However, um, this one does not have a drop hitch. So that's something you would have to add later, but it does come with the wiring and all the setup as far as uh, what's needed for that full tow capacity with this engine. And we'll talk about that in just a minute. So again, a really neat vehicle. Uh, we're gonna jump inside in just a minute after we check out what's under the hood. So standard on the big bin and the entry level uh, and moving up until the top two uh, trim levels there is this 1.5 liter EcoBoost. Now this is actually a three cylinder engine and I know you're thinking, how could a, a Bronco of old have a three cylinder engine? Well, this is turbocharged, so it gives you 181 horsepower and 190 foot pounds of torque. So not that noticeable when you take it out on the road uh, with the pep that it has and also the uh, on-demand torque is there as well. So anything that's necessary to get going outdoors and the beauty of it is you still get 28 miles per gallon. So you can drive around in this rugged off-road cross crossover and get decent fuel economy. 
You also see that uh, you have the clear fluid containers around, um, battery up here. This also has electronic power steering and you can see your relays right there, big air box. So um, you may notice also a little bit extra room here. Well, that extra room would be for the two liter that upgrades on the uh, Badlands and the first edition would have a two liter engine under here. So um, good, good horsepower, good torque, and good fuel economy. A winning combination on this crossover. As we jump inside, of course, this has all your power equipment, power windows, mirrors, locks, etc. Nice bottle holders in the door. And this package, the Big Ben package, upgrades to a power driver's seat and, of course, some lumbar. But look at these seats. I love the styling, love the color. And although these are cloth seats, they're very durable. And the, the, any moisture spilt would just beat up right here. You can see that. And uh, very comfortable with these different quilt patterns here. And stylish as well. Uh, as I mentioned before, this one does have the all-weather liners. As you upgrade to some of the other trims, it will have the uh, rubber flooring, but uh, these liners will protect and keep water, mud, sand, etc., out of there. Now, uh, we missed it just now, but here's a look at the screen. It has its own little video as you uh, open the door and begin, and it's... Uh, Again, it's all about branding. It's all about the Bronco here. So that's pretty cool. And it's, uh, I think in total, it's about 20 seconds, but uh, pretty cool. Again, no Ford logos. I forgot to point that one out on the back, but you probably saw it. You've got the Bronco all the way around. Let's crank this up. I don't know the rights to that music. Let me turn that down here. So a very nice looking uh, instrument panel here. Everything's lit up very bright. You have this nice little multi-information display, uh, fuel gauge, temperature gauge, and then speedos on the right. And as you uh, change gears, uh, pops up and lets you know different things. Of course, a big backup camera as well. And a lot of extra amenities as you go. Uh, speaking of changing gears, this is kind of a, a redesign. You've got a rubber uh, gasket here. And while in neutral, you can engage this low button here. And um, so, so some extra transmission work here. I didn't mention this up front, but it's a eight speed transmission that is on the, uh, made it with that transmission, or uh, with that uh, EcoBoost engine. And as you come around here to drive, down below you have these goat modes now it's not the greatest of all time this is goes over all terrain so you actually upgrade to these uh, goat modes and you can turn that here you have normal you have sand you go back to eco sport and slippery and you add two more when you go up to the badlands and higher you have uh uh, extra drive modes. Now, again, for you Mazda fans, um, our new CX-50 will just have uh, basically three modes, normal, uh, well, four modes, normal, towing, sport, and off-road. And so sometimes you can get confused in all the different drive modes here, but uh, you can check them out. And again, this is a four by four all the time, kind of a 50-50 distribution. As you go up, into higher trims, you'll have kind of a rear diff locker and locking four wheel drive and other buttons here. Uh, on this uh, big bend, we do have the uh, auto brake hold and electronic parking brake right here. And this is uh, a good uh, control panel up here. Very easy to control, big knobs with the same rubber gaskets or what have you, grips on the side to control all that. Everything's lit up, very reminiscent of Ford. Of course, you have heated seats on this as well. And here's your big eight inch screen, as I was talking about before. If you don't want the auto stop and start, that button's right there. Push button start also, very nice. And this one, of course, would be set up for all of your uh, technology, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Down here, you have a nice little wireless charger with phone holder. And it's kind of hard to see in there, but you have this raised plastic to kind of hold your phone in place so it won't be sliding around. Then you've got a USB-C and a USB-A uh, charger right there. 
As I mentioned, this one does have the moonroof. So you have your sunglass holders here. You've got the control of the glass, the control of the, sh the uh, shade here. So you can open or close that as you wish. And that's very nice. And we'll take a quick peek in the back and check out the headroom. Now here's possibly what I'm most excited about as I have children and would be using this uh, for you know a family vehicle as most people are with the four door. You have a zippered pouch back here and this is like a backpack. It's aligned, keeps everything positioned, but also you could have everything tucked in here for easy reach. This neoprene material here on the back of the seat and the headrest is very durable and um, you know for water, feet, you know whatever the case may be, rear AC, all uh, some extra chargers here and this all weather liner of course is branded with none other than the Bronco. And you can see here from that increased height, there's a lot of headroom back here. So I could actually uh, sit on my knees and still not touch the roof as high as this is. And these seats, as you notice from the back, are 60-40 split, so accommodating for all type of cargo. This is a pretty good to go crossover. Let's take one more walk around this rugged Bronco Sport Big Ben package four wheel drive. And again, competitors beware because it not only does it have the Bronco name, but it's got the Bronco ability as well. A phenomenal vehicle, again, very popular right now ever since they built up the reservations over two years ago. And there's really, if I was looking for something along this line, other than Mazda, of course, excited about that Mazda CX-50, this is a very capable crossover for reasonable pricing. Uh, personally, if I was going to buy a Bronco, I probably would go with the full size because it's gonna be more of a traditional transfer case and a uh, body on frame design instead of a unibody like this one. But this is still phenomenal and a very unique styling. And I don't think you'd be disappointed because it can go wherever you want it to go, right? Goes over all terrain. I'm Jonathan Sewell Sells at Mitchell Lincoln on the Boulevard in Enterprise, Alabama. And I really can't wait to see you and your very own Bronco.